being swept away from him. Um, it, he's never really gotten over it. I can just feel that. And I actually did do a video. I put cards up throughout this video about... Hi everyone, welcome back to No Light Tarot. My name is Hallie. So grateful to have you all. This is a channel about hot topics through a tarot perspective. So grateful to have you all. I just reached a thousand subscribers, so that means I'm monetized finally. I'm so grateful for all of those who have stuck around from the beginning. Um, let's continue to grow this channel. I want to be on in about five years from now. I'll be like, you know what? This is what happened when I started. Blah blah blah. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so. Doing this video about Prince Harry, I, I decided to do this on my own accord. Also, if you want to request a video, please, every week, I put up a community tab for subscribers, so please make sure you're subscribed to add what kind of video you'd like to see, because I do look at those, and you'll be able to have a say, I do like polls, I do I put, I write, write down which video you'd like, and so forth and so forth. I do look at them, so please don't think I have ignored you if i haven't replied it's because i can't do the video because of certain reasons but for the most part i can do i do about 80 percent of them and i appreciate the feedback too okay so today i'm doing about prince harry the sun is in virgo the moon is in taurus and rising is in capricorn lots of earth wow that's very intense but it explains a lot so let's get into this past being the star mm, page of cups and five swords so a sudden something sudden happening in his life when he was younger obviously i think it's the death of his mother unfortunately that's caused him a lot of it's almost like look the star being i think his mother and her being swept away from him um it, he's never really gotten over it i can just feel that and i actually did do a video i put cards up throughout this video about the videos i've done before of him and megan um, but I strongly feel like their relationship is quite toxic. I wouldn't say toxic in the sense of like, um, I think she has used his childhood trauma against him to trap him. So with the present being Ace of Wands, Knight of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. Okay, so looking for new deals. Um, I saw, they said the Netflix got cancelled, but I see a book coming if the book has i don't really pay attention to these things but i see definitely a book coming a book uh like a screenplay they're going to people are going to consult him oh my gosh for kind of royal you know that show that everybody watched that everybody was like you should watch because i have a british accent like he was like you watch oh downtown at downtown abbey people were like Oh my gosh, have you watched Downton Abbey? I'm like, no, I'm not into that kind of stuff. Sorry, I'm just not. Uh, the worlds are not really my thing. Um, even though I'm doing this on him, I'm doing this to learn. When it comes to the monarchy, it's not for me. I'm not into it like that. Anyway, so he's going to be a consultant for people who want to do shows like this. I do, Ten of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, see him ending up moving back to his royal status and moving back to his family i get october <sighs> within two years of october so to october 2024 what's of the deck is queen of pentacles i feel like he feels like he is responsible for megan which i get being the protector the provider of the family but it's deeper it's like he's almost indebted to her so as i clarified a king of wands, four pentacles, and seven of swords. So, wow. Very, very powerful stuff. It's almost like he wants to start working on himself, but then she stops him from doing that. A page of cups, the judgment. She kind of guilts him. He's doing a lot of things. I'm not a crazy fan of Mary Markle. I think, um, I just am not a fan of how she moves and the energy she represents so the star page of swords and knight of swords it's almost as though he he feels like this i think he feels like this from the energy i pick up on that every time he's about to do something every time he's about to build a name for himself every time he's about to be something more than just the side person something comes in between that 
So he's always, he feels like he's always living in the shadow. The shadow of his mother. The shadow of his brother. The shadow of his dad. The shadow. He just feels like a shadow. So the boss of the dead, I mean, sorry, the high man in reverse, the knight of one, he feels like it's a curse he can't escape. And it's wearing him down. And it's almost like, you know, him having so much earth in his chart. He is craving stability, but he can never find it because he forces it when it's not there. So I love you all. Please comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Take care.